Massachusetts' newest congressional member, Jake Auchincloss, was also sworn in this evening. He's filling the seat of former Congressman Joe Kennedy. We were the first station to speak with him after his swearing in. And Auchincloss tells us that battling the COVID pandemic is at the top of his agenda. 32-year-old Congressman Jake Auchincloss, former Newton City Councilor and Marine veteran, is now the newest and youngest member of the House. What is your first priority now that you are officially in office? Well, there's a fire raging. When there's a fire raging, you got to put it out. We have got to crush the virus. That means scaling up the distribution of the vaccine by an order of magnitude. We need to be vaccinating a million people a day for the first 100 days of the Biden administration to get to where we need to be this summertime. Now, as we are doing that with vaccinations, the complementary strategy needs to be mass testing and specifically testing uh, in our K-12 public schools. That's our bridge from a hard winter to a better summer is testing. It's been a focus of mine since before swearing in and I'm going to double down now that I'm in office. Distribution. The country isn't anywhere near where it should be. Is that a concern to you? And then how do we speed up having more people vaccinated? It's absolutely a concern to me. And, and it's frustrating because science did the impossible. Science created a vaccine in less than a year when it's supposed to take a decade. And yet we aren't doing the hard part, which is the distribution and supply chain aspects of vaccinations. The Trump administration has basically said, well, it's the state's problem. The states are not equipped for that. The states are underwater right now with uh, their fiscal challenges and with the operational challenges of testing and contact tracing. This needs to be a federal initiative. This should be run from the White House. This needs a commander in chief who is serious about taking on this challenge and getting hundreds of millions of Americans vaccinated in 2021. It requires real leadership. It requires congressional support of that leadership. When President elect Biden becomes the 46th president, he can count on uh, congressional Democrats to support him in getting his vaccination on schedule. Were, One of his first acts were, will be uh, to certify Biden's electoral case, win. Uh, Several Republican congressmen have said that they're not going to do that. They're going to object to that vote. It's an abomination. What we are seeing are a group of people who have sworn an oath to the Constitution on a Sunday, trying to undermine it on a Wednesday. And it's going to be a black mark on their legacy, and it's an embarrassment for the American Republican and the American Democratic experiment. We also asked him about the recorded audio tape of President Trump, who appears to be pushing Georgia's Secretary of State to find votes in his favor and overturn Biden's win in that state. After hearing uh -huh. that, what are your thoughts about what transpired during that conversation? Well, it's making explicit what we have already known, which is that this is the president who's trying to steal an election. He's been, frankly, clear about that since before the election even happened. And the focus and the question to me is no longer President Trump. We know what he is. He's a would-be tyrant. The question now is with congressional Republicans. They need to introspect. They need to decide whether they're going to put Constitution and country first or whether they're going to continue to perpetuate this cult around President Trump who's a would-be tyrant. Auchincloss tells us that 2021 will be better than 2020 for all Americans. He promises to work on creating an economy that works for everyone, and it says it will allow working families to be able to support themselves. Well